Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm gonna be talking about my horror DVD collection here. This is part two. If you want to check out part one, I did a video previously of my horror DVD collection, but this is part two. And starting off with the first one is The Woman in Black, which I enjoyed this flick. Got at the pawn shop blind by and I was really surprised that I actually liked the film didn't care for the sequel though and Fright Night the remake with Colin Farrell it's a decent remake it's not as good as original but I thought it was okay not too bad and uh, Sinister which I actually enjoy this. I enjoy this modern horror type of film. Kind of reminds me of a th uh, kind of a throwback to the 80s. So I don't mind it. The Purge, the first film, is probably the best in the series. Uh, some of the, se the sequels are okay. Part two is decent. Third one, hmm. Uh, Carrie, the remake. You know, this one I liked, you know? It's not as scary as the f original film, but for a modern movie, it wasn't bad. This is a Carrie collection of all three films. The original, then the sequel that came out in the 90s, The Rage, Carrie 2, and then a TV movie remake which I have not seen <laughs> but I've seen the first original classic then the sequel The Rage Carrie 2 which I didn't mind the sequel that came out in the 90's yeah <laughs> Oculus I actually don't mind this film some people don't like it I thought it was interesting and kinda creepy not too bad for a modern horror movie the classic Phantasm. Boy! I enjoy the series. Phantasm 2. The ball is back. Yeah. These movies are just a. Uh, <laughs> they mess with your mind. <laughs> They're very interesting, but they don't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> Phantasm 3, Lord of the Dead. Yeah, one of these days I'll do a review of these films. Phantasm 4, Oblivion. Yeah, I still need to pick up Phantasm 5 to complete my set. Yeah, this is a uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark remake. I actually enjoy the remake so much better than the original. So much better. Jennifer's Body. I actually like the movie even though it has some issues with some of the dialogue. But I like the core of the two friends. Candyman. Original classic. Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes, which is part three in the series. I think it's a sci-fi movie. Lance Hendrickson comes back. It's okay. Candyman Farewell to the Flesh, which is this part it's part two in the series. Didn't mind it. Show tells a little more of a backstory of Candyman. Candyman three, Day of the Dead. Not as good as the first two. My Bloody Valentine, I enjoy the remake. Uh, I thought it was better than the original. Original was kind of boring. Uh, four films of the Final Destination series. One, two, three, and four. I enjoy all the films. They're just fun. This is part five of Final Destination. I enjoy the series. Psycho, the original classic. 
with Anthony Perkins. And I have the other ones, which is Psycho 2 and Psycho 3 and Psycho 4 The Beginning. I like all four films. Three isn't as isn't my favorite, but it's still not too bad. The Amityville Horror Remake, which it's a mixed bag for me. This one is the original classic John Carpenter, The Fog, and the original Amityville Horror, which are both good films. The Fog remake, I don't mind. I just don't compare it to the original, but as a remake and trying something different, I didn't mind. The Uninvited with Emily Browning. Really good movie, actually. Definitely check that out. It's very underrated. Not a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people talk about. Uh, Evil Dead remake. I enjoyed it. I don't know if the horror community respects it or not. Uh, the Unborn. Didn't mind it. Different. Like I said, I like different. So. I don't like your typical round of the mill, same old shit. I like different. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, original classic. It's very, that movie's scary. I gotta review these films someday and a separate collection video. This is the remake to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I didn't mind the remake either. Michael Bay produced. Platinum Dunes did it. Didn't mind it. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Ugh. Not a very good movie. Leather Phase Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Is, that's a mouthful. Uh, I didn't mind the third film. This is the new beginning. Um, wasn't that great. Just a prequel. I like this one, Texas Chainsaw. It was a little different. I like, I like different. When you this that franchise is kind of repetitive. One you see one movie, you see them all. Donnie Darko and S Darko, which is a sequel. Funny enough, I kind of prefer the sequel more than the original. I know that might be controversial. Seed of Chucky, not so great, just funny parts. Curse of Chucky, I actually enjoy this flick. Back to the Roots of Horror. Wishmaster and Wishmaster 2. I've only seen the first film. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Hatchet, which I did reviews on this channel, all three films. This is part two, which is probably my favorite one of the series. Hatchet 3. I've not seen the new one that came out. Victor Crowley. I heard it wasn't that good. Planet Terror. It's a little over the top with the gore and crazy shit going on, but it's kind of entertaining. I like Robert Rodriguez films. Machete, another Robert Rodriguez film. I enjoyed the movie. And I enjoyed the sequel, which is Machete Kills. So I'm a fan of Robert Rodriguez. Poltergeist, classic original film. What more can you say? It's a classic. And then I have the sequels to the original film. Poltergeist 2 and Poltergeist 3, which I enjoy both of them. I don't, I, I don't mind the third film. It's not as bad as people say it is. 
although I kind of like the I like the delete ending better. Night of the Living Dead remake, which I actually prefer more than the original film. Yeah, that's right. I like the remake better. Dawn of the Dead, which is very overrated 70s movie. Best part is probably when the bikers come in. It's kind of slow paced and boring. Day of the Dead, which is probably my favorite uh, Night of the Living Dead films. Day of the Dead is probably the best one in the series, in my opinion. Dawn of the Dead remake. Zack Snyder did this, and I actually like it better than the original Dawn of the Dead. Wolf with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer. I enjoy the flick. Warlock, classic film. <clears throat> and then the sequel, Warlock, the Armageddon, which I like it after the first opening scene. I think that's kind of stupid. You'll know when you see the movie. Frankenstein remake. It's okay. Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon. It's basically a remake to Invisible Man. It's not too bad. The Wolfman remake. Probably the last decent one they did. The one with Tom Cruise I wasn't that impressed by. It was okay. Action scenes were okay, but it wasn't that great. The Mummy is what I'm, the one I'm talking about. Dracula. I've shown this in another video before. Dracula, Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Classic movies. And then this is a new set I got. The Mummy. The original classic, the original Wolfman, the Invisible Man, and Phantom of the Opera. Nice set. Classic, original black and white films. And then I showed this before Horror Dracula and other films. So this is all I'm going to show to you guys for today. Um, I might make a part three. It won't be anytime soon though. But just uh, give me a like and leave a comment below. And hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys later, alright? Alright guys. You have a good one. Take it easy.